Welcome to DVE Morning Announcements, where bright minds shine. I'm your host, Ms. Martello. Today's date is Wednesday, October 4th, 2023, and on this day back in 1927, sculpting begins on Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore stands over 60 feet tall and took over 14 years to complete. It was completed on October 31st, 1941. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Today's lunch menu is chicken and vegetable pot stickers with rice, mini twin cheeseburgers, garden salad offered with savory wheat crackers, soy butter sandwich platter, or PB&J grape sandwich platter, corn, and additional lunch items. Today's weather is patchy rain possible, a low of 77 and a high of 86. The fine arts schedule for today is kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, no, sorry, K1, 2, 4, and 5, day 3, third grade, day 4. Shiny minors are respectful, responsible, and safe. The school-wide attention signal is give me five. When a teacher asks for five, they want these five things. Eyes on the speaker, voice level zero, listening ears, sit up straight, and quiet hands and feet. Hispanic Heritage Month is from September 15th to October 15th. Today we're talking about Elizabeth Acevedo. She is a best-selling and award-winning poet and author known for her books, The Poet X, and Clap When You Land. At DBE, it's four houses, one family. This Friday is the Orange House meeting. If you're in the Orange House, go to the cafeteria when you arrive to school on Friday. If your teacher's in the Orange House, make sure you know which teacher you go to. And if you're getting breakfast, please enter and exit the cafeteria from the second grade hallway door. The kindness jar is still available in the cafeteria. After you eat lunch, you can ask to write a note about a time that you've been kind to others or they've been kind to you, and then put your note in the jar. The largest pumpkin patch challenge is still going on until Friday. Support our safety patrols by buying paper pumpkins in front of the cafeteria. One pumpkin for 25 cents, five pumpkins for a dollar. The largest pumpkin patch wins an ice cream party. Also, to help the safety patrols, the coupon book fundraiser goes to the end of this month. It's $25 for a book filled with coupons for over 150 different activities, stores, and restaurants like Papa John's, McDonald's, or Cold Stone, bowling, ice skating, or paintball. Return the order form and payments to your teacher. The Eat an Apple a Day Challenge is still going on. Make sure you tell your teacher when you eat apples so you guys can keep track. The top class gets an apple pie a la mode class party. Take your parents to PE week is still happening. Please let your parents know which day you have PE and they're welcome to join you. Diamond View Theater practice is tomorrow. Tomorrow we're having both the main character and ensemble practice in the cafeteria and set design also begins tomorrow. Please make sure you have a permission slip if you are part of set design. Today was Diamond View's Walk and Bike to School event. I hope you were all there. Teachers, make sure that you record what children attended and turn it into Coach Koff and Coach Veraki. SECME and Young Engineers meets today at 2.20. If you are in aftercare and brilliant stars, you must go to the cafeteria first, get your snack, and then wait in the cafeteria to be picked up. Everyone else, you're going to meet in front of the media center, not inside the media center, and wait to be picked up there. Also tonight is Tijuana Flats fundraiser night between 4 o'clock and 9 o'clock at the Jog Road location in Lantana. If you go there, mention that you're with Diamond View and 20% of your purchase will come back to our school. The book fair is coming up October 16th to October 24th. Today is the first day of World Space Week. 
So in media, students have been decorating postcards and signing postcards to send to a company called Blue Origin in Texas that will be putting them on a rocket that goes up out of the atmosphere and comes back down. Then they will be sending us back our postcards because um, we address them to Diamond View and we put, we'll be putting stamps on them to get sent back to Diamond View. So almost all children have now signed their class postcards. Fifth graders have done individual postcards that they will keep as a memory when we get them back. And the kindergarten through fourth graders have done class postcards, about four, four postcards per class, where they each sign their first name on the postcard. If you're interested in seeing what this is about, I am going to put a short one-minute video at the end. The kids have seen it, but if you're interested in seeing where the postcards are going, it'll be at the end of today's announcements after the moment of silence. Teachers, if you're interested in doing a postcard, um, I will have them at the faculty meeting today if you wanted to write a message to yourself or a family member. Um, I will have them available today at the staff meeting. Dr. White also put a really little, cute little Space Week display at the front of the school. It has two holes for your face if you wanted to take pictures. Um, so go ahead and do that. And quote of the day is shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Our theme for this school year is Stronger Together. Thank you for watching and have a dazzling Diamond View day. But before we sign off, here's your moment of silence, your time, your choice. All right, so we're gonna be sending our postcards to Blue Origin, which is in Texas. It's a private company. This is the same one that if you've heard about the people who buy tickets to take a ride to space, this is the same company, but they do offer to send postcards for students on a capsule. They push the capsule out into space. The capsule will separate, the booster will come back down first. The capsule will come back down with parachutes. Um, this company is private, it's not associated with NASA, but they do work with NASA and the FAA to get cleared before they send their rockets. So here is a video. And touchdown, just beautiful. What a spectacular launch to space and back. The six for that capsule, the six for that booster. We've collected several thousand postcards from students around the world with their hopes and dreams for the future. Today, we're sending our first batch of those postcards to space on New Shepard. Let's take a look at some of these. And then we'll mail them back to each student stamped, alone in space. This one is from Great Falls, Virginia. This one's Washington, DC. These are fantastic. This card has been in space. On it, the planets represent my love of the unknown. They are all different, and they represent the universe. Nice. It's beautiful. Thank you, Sophie. What a great drawing. All right, let's stamp a few of these. It's time to verify. Beautiful. All right, that's a, that's a success, guys. That's beautiful. Thank you for, help, for watching and have a great day. Bye.